we got the tech updates of this week. I am Amit and you are watching Techomite. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The very first news I am taking from ScienceDaily.com and its headlines is Antibody protect against Zika and Dengue mouse study shows treating pregnant women before infection may protect fetus from Zika. In this news, we got a new study led by researchers at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis shows that an antibody that protect against Dengue virus is also effective against Zika in mice. I am showing some images you to you. In this image, in left side, you can clearly see that an infected Zika infected pregnant mouse is given an antibiotic and on the right side there is no antibiotic injected in the pregnant mice. You can clearly see the difference between these two images. How could it is effective? Since Brazil and other areas hardest hit by the Zika virus which can cause babies to born with abnormally small heads are also home of dengue viruses which is spread by the same mosquito species. Dengue and Zika virus are correlated to each other. That's why giving women antibody as soon as they know they are pregnant could provide them with a ready-made def defense against the virus and it's very good initiative and experimental thing by those two researchers of Washington University School of Medicine and we really appreciate that they are fighting against dengue and Zika towards by using the antibiotic medicine. It's a very good initiative. The second note I'm taking from 9news.com the headlines of this news channel is that the 10 million dollar machine provides the key to early cancer diagnosis. Yes, it is possible very 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 easily possible now by using this machine we can diagnose cancer at earlier stage also. Sydney Liverpool Hospital has today unveiled its latest weapon in trend treating cancer. 10 million dollars have been spent on the cyclotron, a machine which produces radioisotopes that can identify cancer. These radioisotopes are injected into cancer patient before PET scans and act as tracers lightening up the specific cancer cell due to which doctor can easily exact see exactly where the cancer is in the body and therefore treat it accordingly. Doctor says it allows for cancer treatment to be personalized to an individual patient and see whether drugs being used to treat them are working or not. They have tested this with patients also successfully and has the ability to detect Alzheimer's disease, dimension, heart disease and brain injuries in future also. The new medicine is expected to treat between 4000 to 5000 patients every year and it is one of its kind in Western Sydney and it is a very great 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 initiative by these guys. We really appreciate these guys for doing this such of kind of things. The very third news I am taking it from medgadget.com The very third news I am taking it from medgadget.com that is Boston Scientific Resonant Cardiac Implants with Heart Logic predict adverse events now FDA approved. Yes, Boston Scientific won approved from the FDA and is launching its resonant life of implantable cardioverter defibrillator ICD and cardiac resynchronization therapy defibrillator that is CRT-D. The implants include the firm's heart logic diagnosis capability that signs an alarm to the cardiologist if it believes the patient heart is exhibiting worse performance which may lead to serious events such as an infarct. Heart logic relies on a number of sensors within the implant that produce data on heart sounds, heart rate, breathing rate and volume, theoretical impedance as well as the patient current physical activity levels. Resonant implants actually listen to the heart sounds which would imply that there's some sort of microphone inside the device and according to Boston Scientific, the heart logic alert system has shown to a sensitivity of 70% defecting was seeing heart failure. That's a good, very good thing and sometimes predicting serious cardiac events many big before they happen. That's a good initiative. Seriously, very, very, very good initiative. They are predicting the things just some of the weeks back up before back also. In a recent study, it issued a warning on median 34 days before such as events happened. Okay, that's a great thing. We really appreciate it. Many of the resonant devices are also safe to go inside an MRI machine. Up to 1.5 Tesla, that is hereby written is 1.5 Tesla, as long as precautions are taken. From Techomet, we are giving this thumbs up. 
to this invention this is very very good invention since we are eagerly waiting for this availability of this invention in india also obviously we need to import this thing but still we can the fourth news i am taking it from medgadget.com again that is microfluidic chip takes blood cells through a labyrinth to pick out ctcs that is they were using liquid biopsy to sir pick out circulating tumor cells from whole body that's a technique name is by liquid biopsy which will help the doctors to detect the cancer level and the monitor the patient undergoing the treatment of cancer that's a good initiative actually they have not given the whole thing about this article might be they will give a, about this treatment very soon we are waiting for that and it's a very good treatment option will be available for the guys i am waiting for this to be revealed fully the fifth news i am taking it from medicalfuturist.com that is the escape the scary and painful healthcare the applied vr review it is very very good initiative these guys are doing since i am appreciating this thing because virtual reality is been going to used for a treatment purpose that is virtual re reality might be great tool to mitigate chronic pain without pain killers or to escape the scary hospital environment without physically going anywhere the los angeles based company applied vr promises a comprehensive and immersive vr experience through a wide range of vr content i had great patience and was excited to test this review package here is the ultimate verdict of that you can see the images of this thing that how they are going to use this virtual reality thing they are applying this whole thing on the children mainly on the children since other people generally used to cope up from their pain but children don't want to cope up from their they are used to scary from the hospital they don't want to go to hospital that's why it can be the great invention for them there's a full proof vr device with amazing and medical apps there will be some apps will be uploaded in that and they can use enjoy their game by playing games by watching some movies here are the pros and cons of this device that is easy to use there will be the quick setup of this device find medical app possible to download more apps headphone wear combination is very impressive seriously it is very impressive but there is one cons of this that is it is very expensive also since it won't be available for everyone those who have money to spend on the healthcare society they can buy this since it is costing around 3700 dollar it's a very high price i can buy 3 iphone 8 in this price range oh <laughs> seriously okay that's good enough for this so that's all about the news headlines if you like the video give it thumbs up and share this video to other biomedical engineers also so that they will be aware about this do subscribe to this channels for being updated from the biomedical society tech updates and news this is amit mohan raman signing out jai hind